Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Descriptive Statistics, Question 8, Normal, Distribution, Mean, and Standard Deviation. Inbox me at kneemedicine at gmail.com to order this complete CRAM session. Question 8, Normal Distribution. The national mean for verbal scores on an exam was 428 and the standard deviation was 113, approximately what percent of those taking this exam had verbal scores between 315 and 541? Is it going to be A, 68.2%, B, well, I mean to not, I, I'm so used to seeing the ABC answer choice system, 2, 52.8%, 3, 38.2%, or 4, 26.4%. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so let me pull this up. This is what's called a normal distribution curve, okay? And it's going to be the result of the accumulation of lots and lots and lots of random data values, sometimes referred to as random variables. And so we have a national exam that was taking. And it's nice because usually when we have data for things that are done nationally, we can assume that there's going to be a myriad of random data values for that particular thing. And in this case, there's going to be myriads of random test score values. Not every person is going to score the same exact score, okay? So it's reasonable to assume that the test scores, the national test scores that is, follow a normal distribution. And so data that are normally distributed usually form what we see here, a bell-shaped curve. And um, the area under the entire curve is 100%, as you could probably deduce from, you know, slowly visually scanning this diagram. And so let's just say, for example, sake, the area between two sigma, or population standard deviations, so here goes uh, negative 0.5 standard deviation above below the mean and 0.5 standard deviation um, above the mean. Let's say that these two sigma ranges represent um, percentage of scores that can be expected to fall within that interval. Uh, and here we we assign our sigma value a standard deviation of 0 0.5. So this interval here between these 0 0.5 sigmas or standard deviations contains a total of 2 times 19.1% or a total of 38% of the test scores lie within 0 0.5 standard deviation away from the mean in either direction. All right, so getting back to our original question stem, we have that 428 is the center of our normal distribution. Oh yeah, the center of any normal distribution curve is always going to be the mean as well as the median and the mode. That's why the percentage is so high here. That's like, it's actually really neat. So yeah, 428 is our center. And let's see what else we can do with this. Okay, so 113 is our standard deviation. So if we want to know what number is one standard deviation below 428 or one standard deviation below the mean, we're going to do a calculation of 428 minus 113 to get a score or yeah a score that's good enough of 315. Now let's also say that um, 
we're going to find out the full range of one standard deviation away from the mean because that's what we're being asked in the question stem. We also have to add 113, one standard deviation to the mean. So 113 plus 428 is going to yield 541. Okay. All right. So if you do a visual, a visual scan of the percentages that lie between 315 and 541, you're going to notice that they're between negative one and one standard deviation away from the mean. So we've, you know, we've gotten our correct range. And now we're ready to add the percent scores of 15% plus 19.1% plus 19.1% and then another 15%, which I don't think I indicated here, um, is going to equal a total of 68.2%. Therefore, the correct answer choice is going to be answer choice one, 68.2%, okay? And it's worthwhile to memorize that 68.2% of data values lie within one standard deviation or deviation I have difficulty pronouncing that word from the mean okay for a normal distribution that is